about to go professional. My name is Tyrell Terry, I play basketball, and I'm about to join the league. So a regular day for me is waking up, I'm meditating first thing in the morning, get my mind off to a great start for the day. You know, every, every person goes through certain things, certain battles within their own head, you know, mental challenges that they face, um, adversity, things like that. And so I think um, for me to get up in the morning and start my day off with meditation um, and affirmations and kind of get a calm sense of mind, um, you know, I think it's crucial for me to make the most out of the day. So right now I'm on my way um, to strength and conditioning. Um, do that around 9 a.m. I've been going there for about six months now. Had about, you know, over 100 sessions there. So just nice athletic base. Yep. There you go, man, that's it. Pull. Nice job, nice job. Come on, Ty, come on, Ty. Good work, man, good work. Every day I work out with Mike Robertson, who is the owner of the iFast Gym. He's a great coach for me, and I think he's, he's done a lot for me as far as my development, you know, in the weight room and with my body. Well, when Ty got here, he was obviously underweight for his dream of playing in the NBA. I think he weighed in at 153.4 to start off. Over the last six months, we've been working together. By the time we're done, we'll have hit 120 training sessions, and he's over 175 pounds now, or right at 175 pounds, and I think physically ready to meet those demands that he's gonna see at the NBA. Good work, dude. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of improvements in my weight. I'm not sure the exact number, but my strength has gone up around 50% since I've been here. So I've seen a lot of improvements in you know, every area that I wanted to, um, and every goal that I set since I've been here. As awful as this time has been for so many of us, um, I think honestly it was the best thing that could have happened to Ty because we had six months of time where he didn't have to be on the basketball court an, an excessive amount, right? Because we know a lot of times when you're playing ball every day, it's hard to, to get in the gym and to, to get that work in. So I think honestly, the fact that we had six months to just get in the gym, to be really religious about our workouts, this was huge, I think, not only for his rookie year, but for his entire NBA career. So it's been a long process throughout the COVID pandemic that we've been going through the past, you know, almost a year now. And so it was very tough for me, you know, especially with the season being canceled, not knowing what's going on. You know, I was able to find a great program out here in Indianapolis where all the people out here care about me, you know, they care about my progress. You know, I sensed that. And so it made it a lot easier for me to come into this environment and thrive. You know, I've made a lot of progress as far as my body, you know, my strength and, you know, even mentally uh, on and off the court. So I think um, the past few months has been crucial for me as far as my development. Working on uh, some separation. So we're gonna drive hard, two dribbles left, planting that right foot, big sidestep. Good, going right. Good. Joey Byrne has, has you know, kind of come up with a great, you know, program for me to improve my game. I've been able to compete with some NBA guys and work out with them as well and learn from them. Um, so there's been a lot that, you know, Joey's been able to do with me. And, you know, it's been great for me as far as my development on the court. Uh, we get in, uh, we get them warmed up with uh, just spot shooting. Then we just move into different uh, areas that we're working on. Some days it might be finishing, other days it might be ball screen reads. Explode. There it is, good. Another day, it might just be high reps, just trying to get a lot of reps, a lot of habits being built that we've been working on. So it varies from day to day, but the main focus is things that he'll be doing a lot in a game. So today I'm, you know, I was doing ball screen reads, shooting out of the ball screen, finishing off downhill attacks. So those are some of the things where, you know, just making those reads is going to be crucial for me just because, you know, the college game is a lot different than um, the NBA level. And so, you know, these are things I need to learn quickly if I want to be successful at the next level. There it is. Good. It's a good job. I just got done at the factory um, with my workout. Um, got some good good work in as far as you know, both you know in the weight room and on the court today. Um, I'm gonna go back to my apartment, kind of just chill out the rest of the day. For me, just recovery and kind of just kicking it and playing video games and stuff like that is good for me. I only have about a week left out here in Indy, so I'm just kind of trying to enjoy the last couple of days that I have out here because um, it's been a good time, you know, being out here just preparing for the draft. So my friends are, you know, one of the most important pieces of my life. I've been through a lot with my friends. You know, I think they're part of a reason where I am where I am today. So I love to play FIFA, Call of Duty. I'm in, in NBA 2K. 
I'm, you know, usually with my friends and you know what that does for me, it kind of just takes me out of the real world, you know? I'm not really focusing on the draft. Dub's chat and he it. says he's about to win. But I think I got my money on Mikey. Yeah, if you're not shaking on that, I'm not here. Yeah. Okay, now we're really focused on it. I'm kind of just in my own zone with my friends, just enjoying myself. And so I think that's important, you know, um, you know, for one's mental health is just to kind of um, block out a portion of the day where you can just, you know, kind of enjoy yourself and um, have some fun. To me, no days off means on your days where you're not on the court, what are you doing as far as, you know, building your mental health, um, recovery, putting the right food in your body. Um, that that kind of counts as not having a day off for in, in my book. And so for me, not having a day off just means making strides to becoming better even though you're not on the court or in the weight room. The sky's the limit for Ty. I mean, love this kid, joke around, but I've spent more time with him than basically any other person in my life for the last six months other than my family. This isn't basketball, this is working out, and it's stuff that generally a lot of basketball guys don't enjoy, but for him to commit to the process, to see the gains that he's seen in his strength, in his size, and just in his physique, I think it's gonna be huge, and I can't wait to watch him this year. I believe Ty Rose is gonna be a very high level point guard. Uh, his ability to pick up concepts, is, he's smart, he has the ability to apply things right away. I think his learning curve is gonna be just tremendous. His skill set has improved greatly, his body's improved, and I'm excited for him to really go out and show that he can become one of the best players in this draft. It's been very bittersweet. Um, just this whole process, you know, not knowing when the draft was going to be, um, you know, after the draft with the season starting so soon, you know, after draft night, um, just having to really adjust quickly and get ready for what's ahead is, is exciting. Um, but, you know, it's, it's been a very crazy process and um, it's really coming really fast. My biggest piece of advice would just be not to be afraid to talk to someone. Um, that was something that I was really scared of and uncomfortable with, kind of just overthinking it in my head and struggling on my own. You know, there are people that are willing to talk about things with you. You know, even if you don't believe so, there definitely are. And it, even though you may not think it's going to help you, uh, trust me, it will. So I think that's the biggest piece of advice I could give. Mm -hmm.